Hey guys, this is my first voiceover on my training session. And so, on this day, it was my squat day, and uh, I jumped it off with uh, 295 for a triple. And as you see here, the weight was going pretty well for me. And so, after this set, I decided to do 315. And, um, you know, little did I know that this day wasn't going to be that great for me because my squats weren't going that well. As you'll see here in these reps, they were very grindy and I was just not pleased with myself. So, after the set, I added on the belt to see if that helped make a difference. And you'll see in the next clip, it was just only getting tougher for me. And that's when I knew I had to nice. just set my ego aside and just drop the weight. Big boy pulling out the belt. Um, <laughs> so, I, after the set, I dropped it back to 295 for a triple and tried to just finish off my, um, my volume. And as you see here, these reps were not easy for me. Um, it kind of sucks just to have bad days, but at the same time you gotta you gotta accept it. You gotta you know cope with it and realize that there are many factors that could have just caused that bad session. And you gotta just move on. You know, like on this day, I felt like maybe one of the factors that could have affected my workout was just. Knowing that this was like my first vlog that I was going to post up and it just kind of ruined my mindset a little bit. And um, so, you know, I do thank my friend here who kept pushing me on. If you can hear him, he was, you know, yelling at me in the background and that kind of gave me some motivation just to grind out my reps. And uh, after my working sets, I dropped the weight to uh, 245 for a set of 10 just to, just to add more volume. After that, I jumped off to the, this machine here where I mimicked a glute ham raise um, just to, you know, really focus on squeezing my glute on the way up and the hamstrings. Um, you know, this exercise has really helped translate well into my deadlifts because it, you know, it teaches me to really keep that neutral spine and uh, keeping my core really tight and uh, squeezing the butt because oftentimes people forget to squeeze their butt in the deadlift and that just, it adds a little bit more and it aids a lot. It's the little things that help build your deadlift. And uh, in this final clip here uh, is my friend Sean. He's uh, you know hitting a set of five on the incline dumbbell press, and I uh, gotta give it to him. He's getting pretty strong nowadays. He's working his way up to you know the heavy dumbbells. Uh, you know, pretty proud of him. He's trying to work on that you know that lean body kind of thing. And so, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you're seeing here, please subscribe and uh, leave some suggestions down below. I would really appreciate that. Uh, so, I'll talk to you guys next time.